Hello, you guys. Thank you for joining us. This is episode, uh, I think this is episode nine, season four. We are here joined with the person that had the top views and the top downloads as any other podcast since 2019. So we're doing a recap. The one and only Derek Wilburn, also known as D-Dub. What's up, dude? Hey, how y'all doing out there? I'm calling for this morning, man. You just to be here. You just to be there. Okay, um. All right, you guys. I'm very excited today. I had just got a text from my daughter who was expecting my twin grandbabies, hopefully grandsons, but I would love daughters just as well. She was just telling me some results and stuff, so I had to pause because it had, you know, I got to be really attentive. So, um, also, did I say Derek Wilborn, also known as Mr. DJ? Yeah, Mr. DJ, D Dub. Um, yeah, oh, I just, yeah, D Dub, man. You know, I, I've done a few different things, so, you know, those who remember my radio show back in the day, they, they call me Mr. DJ at that point, and uh, some of the artists know me as D Dub from doing different beats and you know just being involved in different situations as far as that goes. Uh, I just want to thank everybody that tuned in to us though. Uh, just a shout out to everybody out there who uh, gave us a minute of their time, you know, and uh, gave us the opportunity to come in and speak with them. Uh, I just want to shout everybody out and ask that they continue to listen in and tell their friends and family and you know. Every avenue that they have out there, that they, you know, put us in they, you know, put us in their people's ear. You know, it's about word of mouth these days. And I just want to shout out again a thanks and a God bless to everybody that tuned in and and, and gave us the views. And we just asking that y'all know that we own a bigger and better thing. So we, you know, we expecting y'all to keep looking at us, man. We're gonna give y'all something to look at. Okay. Well, that was cool. Um. So as you guys know, I have been on my little tour, my six week tour, promoting Hollow Hearted. I got a lot of responses from people and I'm really, really glad you guys, uh, I can see my revenue going up behind the project. <clears throat> I'm gonna also have d to be, uh, 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 to feature on my next project, which is going to be called Still Hollow. So that's gonna be very exciting. On my last project, I had Chief Havoc feature on it. He was on the project that's called um, Traumatized. So D-Dub and I are going to do one. We're going to let you guys know what we're going to do after we do it. But be on the lookout for Still Hollow, you guys. That's the second uh, EP in my Hollow project, you guys. So um, it's been quite some time since I saw D-Dub. And a lot of stuff had, you know, transpired and everything. And like I said, I had that announcement that I'm getting ready to be a G mama, you guys. Have my third generation out here, so I'm going to be a matriarch. So I'm going to have to get my stuff together. I'm going to have to stand up tall and just be all that I can be. And I'm going to need you guys to support. So I need y'all to just keep me on my toes. If you see me in public or if you see me on YouTube or if you see me slipping and stuff, just pull my coattail and let me know because I am the type of person that don't mind constructive criticism but don't call yourself checking me because then it'll go <laughs> you know it'll go left yeah and I'm right handed so yeah um so what's new with you D-Dub I know you you told me a lot of things that's going on and mm -hmm. you know I'm happy yeah. that we ended up having the, the podcast that had the most views and downloads all mm. together it's been 400 downloads so I thank all of you guys because I know that the people listening right now are the billionaires that got me where I am today. And I want you guys to go right now, take out your phone. If you're looking at this on anything besides your phone, if you're on your phone, go ahead to YouTube and type in Tommy Trill TV. And I want you guys to press subscribe and subscribe to my channel. I like you guys to help me get monetized, and I told you guys I'm gonna do something really special for you when I do get 10,000 subscribers and 5,000 watch hours. You guys will see me with sponsors. I'll be having different sponsors. I want to be looking for beauty sponsors, health sponsors, um, all kinds of stuff. So 
I'm getting ready to start some type of twins movement, you know, because my, my son have triplet sisters, and um, it's just a trip because, you know, it's a lot of just weird stuff going on in our atmosphere, so it's a lot of doubles in our, in our uh, existence, so, yeah, but not in our immediate family, so, in, in my immediate family, it's just myself, my daughter, and my son, and now it's getting ready to be my two grandchildren. So you guys, I'm so excited. I cry like a baby in that doctor's office because God put some put something through me and they put something through them. And I don't know how deep it is to you people that are grandparents, but it's so deep to me. I can even feel it in my soul. I've never been a grandparent before, but I've been a parent before. But it seemed like that root is just getting deeper and deeper and I'm really appreciating it. And I've been really blessed. And I can see other blessings coming. Hey, amen. Mm-hmm. Blessing after blessing, you guys. You guys, you're gonna see me in your town soon. I gotta put, I gotta record my EP. I gotta uh, put it out. I gotta see what the views and stuff look like, and then I'm gonna tell y'all where I'm gonna show up at. So I showed up in California. I was there for six weeks, you guys. If you saw me, we had fun. If you didn't see me, you need to see me in your town. So I want you guys to send me a cash app or whatever. I take donations. Cash app at Tommy Trill, T O M I I T R I L L T V. Dollar sign Tommy Trill TV. Cash app toward the movement, the Hollow Hearted Project, the Still Hollow Project, uh, and also to help me to go on tour because it takes transportation. You guys, you guys watch my vlog that I did about um, my tour. I did a, I did vlogs. I did a, like eleven videos. On vlogs, um, which will average out to like every other day a video of what was going on, what I did, what I focused on, and, you know, and stuff like that. So I want to see you guys in your city or your state or your town. Let me know where I should show up because it's just gonna be. I'm gonna go solo too, so I'm gonna take a solo trip. I'm gonna see y'all. We gonna kick it or chill, whatever we do. Yeah. But. You know, don't try no foolishness because I am with that shit. So I'll make sure y'all know that shit. This is keeping it real with Tommy Trio. This ain't <laughs> fake with Tommy Trio. <laughs> but I love y'all. I had so much fun on my tour. I only been back two days, three days. And um, I'm ready to do something else without missing home, missing my daughter, missing my son and stuff. So I found out that good news. I had to get back home. I had no clue what I was coming home to, y'all. Mm. But I wanted to get home. And they kept on messing with my flight. Let me tell y'all what happened. They ripped open my son's shoe bag. I had a, It was my shoes, too. I had a bag full of shoes. Now, y'all, remind y'all, I left with a small bag, a, a carry-on. But the carry-on got checked because I didn't want to carry nothing else. And my flight was horrible. So I didn't want to be carrying stuff while I had this weight. Because my sister set the flight up for me when I was leaving. And all of that. So, you guys, everything ended up being okay with the flight. This wasn't so good. Um, anyway, fast forward to coming home. They ripped up in the shoe bag, tore up his good shoes, and they ended up giving me a $200 credit. So, I was irritated that, that my bag was open because I had some other shit in that bag, too, that didn't get, you know, messed with or nothing. But that shit pissed me off. And then they had my flight to where um, I was trying to come home early to handle some business. They wouldn't let me do that. But the day of my flight, they uh, told me that I had to go to the next day. This is Southwest Airlines. I was so irritated because I wasn't able to get home to get the computer that the job was sending me that I was going to get. So I had to miss the job. So I got to call Southwest and tell them how they inconvenienced me and see what they can do for me. Anyway, I said all that to say my tour was great, but just a couple bumps in the road. You know, I made it back home safely. I made it back home in good health. Um, and I'm here now doing this podcast with y'all. So, um, D Dub, you know, mm-hmm. during the during the corona and the and the mm-hmm. pandemic and all of that stuff. Yeah. Like what was some of your motivation? What was some of the stuff you did to keep yourself from going crazy? Um, prayer. It was all prayer. I'm gonna say this, um, God been amazing. 
Um, Y'all can look forward to a new year of gratitude for God. Um, It's just in the air right now, and we're doing our best our best uh, attempts at kind of harnessing it and making it infectious out here because uh, everybody that made it through this last year and a half should have a whole new gratitude for God and, you know, you should just be more appreciative and thankful, you know, for everything, you know, especially for family. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people, man, they've lost loved ones and been through been through real tragedies. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, God been good. He's been amazing and uh even through the bad, he been amazing and he been um, he been God. And uh, yeah, I just want to shout out a couple of people uh, who helped me make it through that uh, you know that rough stretch because it was a rough stretch on my family and just people that I loved. And uh, yeah, shout out Mickey Mick, man, uh, just a pillar of strength and uh, you know just a positive black man out here. And a lot of times the positive black men don't get shouted out enough and we don't show him enough gratitude. And, you know, shout out to Mickey Mick, man, for being one of the, uh, being one of the best, you know what I'm saying, the guys that I know that's uh, big on prayer and big on, you know, being there for people, you know, in their time of need. And, uh, you know, shout out Biggie Black, you know. Um, shout out my family, man. I got the best mother in the world, you know, and uh, my kids. Yeah, yeah man, uh, my sister, man. Uh, yeah, just just positive people praying together and believing together, you know, got got us through. And uh, for those out there who just don't um, don't feel that they have enough of that, you know, just know that there's outlets out there the way you can reach out. And uh, yeah, we can link up. You know, we can link up. I love to share power and love and and, uh, and motivation and that type of thing. And uh, we need more of it. And we can look forward to that in 22. We got some projects we're working on. Uh, we got some nonprofits we're touching. Uh, God is good, you know. Uh, Sometimes they say it's uh, darkest before day. We're living there right now, you know. We're going through some tough times, but uh, we got some blessed times ahead, you know. It's like some real prosperity and uh, blessings on the way. We just, uh, we, we, you know, we're in the receiving mode right now. You know, some of these people have been feeling defeated. What we're trying to do is we're we, we trying to stay bold and we're trying to stay confident for God right now. And we're feeling like that we got our best days ahead. And we're just trying to share that right now, you know, through different different avenues, you know. Uh, shout out to, to Leah, you know. Uh, she got uh, got a nice business and um, entrepreneurship going right now. Um, just a young person that's doing her thing right now. Um, Anybody out there that's trying to get their hat did and, uh, you know, get locked up, you know, get locked down, uh, whatever y'all need done, you know what I'm saying, man? I know some people that's just that's touching the hood right now, touching the community, and we need to be more supportive of all of us. Uh, shout out Tommy Trail TV, man. Uh, a billionaire movement right now that's blessing the you know, waking people up to need it, you know, there's just being a being a source and an outlet that they can turn to and hear things that's uplifting. And we need just more uplifting right now and more positivity right now. And I can say and I can vouch for these people, man, that they uh they you know they they, they pillars of strength and love and power and God right now. And uh that's what we that's what we leaning on. That's what got me through, that's what's gonna get me through. And uh yeah, you know, I'm just big on that right now and uh you know, shout out to all the positive people out there right now that's hanging on to God and especially our black men right now. This uh trusting God like never before and uh looking for him as the outlet, you know, and him to provide a better way. We just need more of that, you know. To our sons out there, you know, we just trying to, you know, let y'all know that y'all ain't in this by yourselves, man. That we really working on something that's going to better this thing and really give y'all a, a better shot at this thing, you know. And, uh, again, we just shouting out everybody right now that's been good to us. Okay, thank you, D-Dub. Um, we going to stop on uh, Spreaker. So, thank you guys for joining us. And I'm going to give D-Dub another couple minutes to tell y'all how you can reach him. But we going to continue to go on anchor so if you guys are listening to us on speaker we gonna holler at you guys and if you're listening to us on anchor continue to listen because we don't keep going how can they reach you d-dub hey y'all can just send me an email i'm checking my emails these days Derek wilborn is d-e-r-e-k-w-i-l-b-o-r-n at yahoo.com you know reach out to me send me an email let me know what you think about what i'm talking about and you know uh just uh if you got anything good going on out there and you need some positivity and some good people to show up and be soldiers for you and with you and uh you know we get this family thing back in effect reach out to me Derek wilborn at yahoo.com that's d-e-r-e-k W-I-L-B-O-R-N at yahoo.com send me an email and we'll talk about some things and yeah if i can be of service god is good and that's awesome 
So you guys reach out to Derek Wilborn. You guys could get whatever information you need to get from Derek Wilborn about what you guys heard. And if you want to hear more, um, I'm going to say love y'all on Spreaker. And we're going to keep going on Anchor.